the campus clutch event is a totally different opportunity to what most of these players are used to. Most of these players, they've never played at LAN. They've never played right next to their teammates. Never played with casters, with a crowd. It's a totally different level of pressure. In the corner, tucked away, he gets one. Two from down. Sage, and they're still in the back of the site, but they don't even need her. Lawless. Three coming out from Sage, and an incredible 2k from Omen. The site gets held. It, it definitely felt different. I mean, there's no way, like, you know. It was really, it was a very surreal experience, for sure. If you've never played in a LAN, you have to play in a LAN at some point. With the frag, trying to keep his team in it. Can he get a second? He can, and thank you, Desmos comes in as well with one. Oh no, the B team is now up against the ropes. Only two players to the five of the defense trying to win this round in 50 seconds left. They're gonna be running in. Missile looking for this frag on the site. They might still be able to if they get it. Booby gets two on the rotate, and Missile takes down the player on the site. But they need to plant. There's only seven seconds left. The bomb is not in hand. He's planting. Can they deny this? The B team actually gets the bomb down. It looked like a lost round, but the dynamic duo of Missile and Booby have brought it in to a winnable two versus two. Molly goes out for Booby. And Micaiah is gonna have no choice but to wait that one out. Alt in hand can delay even further. Will he choose to place it down? He will. Sky. Omen runs for his life. Right and cuts yet another 10 seconds off this retake. Mikaya finally pushing in now. He's gonna have to contest two players at once. Smoke's on feet. Doesn't seem to know where they are. Fruby gets the pick. Can he get another one? And he can't. Down to the 1v1 now. Jet versus Jet. Who is gonna come out on top of this? And it might decide the game. Missile. He can get it. Gets the frag. The BUB team come and come through and seal what should have been a clean game from the start. We hear shouts ringing out across the arena. Our game just went into a 13-11 win, and I really hope that this game is a little bit easier for our team. Uh, the A team should be able to wipe these guys. Hopefully. They were putting on a strong show earlier in the day, but we'll see how they stand up against Daniil and the rest of the boys. That is true. That last game was quite the nail-biter. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have some more. Uh, great games of Valorant ahead of us. For the, the Omen are not playing on the same side. <laughs> Opportunity to get four frags here. That. Is that the NL sitting there? One enemy remaining. Three kills. Getting into the board. Does not. Falls to the omen. Shadow strike. Knocks it. Taps it once. Knocks back to the board. Does not get the frag. Falls to the omen. Shadow kills. Another close round for the community team, but they could not just close out that 1v1. Yeah, we'll see what it takes. See. Trading out the day. Joke's over! You're dead! Last player standing. Hitting a huge shot in the back flat. Can they find the last person in the garage? Ball and off ball. Just a ball. Spike planted. Grover hey. with the ace. Absolutely coming up absolutely huge and you can hear the crowd here. It's going crazy. Round away, run overtime. Movie finds the opening, pick on the Octon. Four. Now, Will trade his teammate, grab a 4v4 now. However, he doesn't 
have control of of uh, a heaven with the Nell. Having that Empress up. Oh, 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 and Darian will find them with the Nell. Four one fight from this. That's just that's a BT win, and they're able to bring it to twelve twelve. Dari gets picked off. They will find one. They will find one. The finds two before getting traded out, as it's just the missile left. Smoke him momentarily. This is two. Just price from left. This world trying to keep his team still alive. Will tap the spike potentially. Will he go for a half? However, Optimum will clear him. Win. And that and the comeback will be curved for the B team. Gabriel banging on the wall to the on the booth next to, to let them know the presence of the A team. Does die to the destroyed the soul of the one of their own. One enemy remains. Still out. One one. No time left. Really, gets around and Awesome will find the pick on him. Falsia just left him short. One enemy remains. Against Don Deflector, just him versus Booby to defend the spike. Not a lot of time left. Will he get the We'll catch him in animation, however, I don't think there'll be enough time for him to disable this fight. Oh, 0.55 seconds left! What? Absolutely insane! Let's try to find their first round. <laughs> Crowd popping off for B Team. The B Team, lots of love for them right now. This round winner was for both sides. Gabriel getting to the down. Excuse me, not down here, but. What? We'll find one. One two! His team back in just by the rest of the world. Unfortunately, he will not be able to clutch it out for his team. Dino finding three. Waiting for him. One, one, two, one, one three! The shooting Fight gallery down. for the missile. with a spike down in garage. No sign of it just yet. However, Optimum is, is prepared for his garage push. Green flash comes out. Optimum backing out. Other garage is ready to take on the fight with the assistance of Escalera's Phoenix. Ah, 30 seconds left. Sorry, the only smoke there will give him a little bit more time in the fighting two. All he's fighting one of them. One right enemy remaining. Starting here with the A team. And defenders will win the last round. Defenders win. win for the Boston University A team. So, what's your big takeaway after this event? I think the big takeaway is definitely watching the crowd either while you're playing or while you're. Um you know, just casting the match or sitting in the crowd alongside them watching it. You really get a feel like you're in a giant vibe with everybody else, which is really awesome. It's similar to like being at a concert or like a large, um, just like a large venue of some sort. Everyone reacts like similarly and you feel like you're just part of something bigger than just a, like 10 dudes playing a video game. Like everybody is like a little bit different, but like the one thing that brings these people together is gaming and it's the love for Valorant, it's the love for esports, it's, it's the love for the gaming community and all these things. And I think that was like what, um, you know, when I first went in there and I saw all these people, I was like, damn, like, you know, it's, it's weird because, you know, the community online, but then it's totally different when you see them in person. And it's just like it was awesome. It was an awesome vibe, like for sure. In this upcoming tournament, when we face different universities, I really want to beat Northeastern. Like that's probably on top of my on top of my list. Like, sure, they have like way more better things in terms of coaching, in terms of uh, use, like uh, in terms of like 
almost every they put more money into the club but it's, it's not an excuse i don't really care i just kind of really want to dominate northeastern we're coming for you damn that was kind of cringy <laughs> uh that was pretty cringy